new technology represents one of the cornerstones of what we believe to be uh, in really important in terms of dynamic learning environments. Uh, the other cornerstone being active learning and thinking skills and a further one being assessment for learning in terms of celebrating students achievement but also uh, encouraging reflection on how well they've done and, and how they can improve further. So to help us along that journey, the investment into equipment such as the laptop computers, uh, interactive voting pads, which I know are very popular with students across the curriculum, uh, visualiser technology to model expectations and to show good examples of work, um, multifunctional devices to support printing and the professional production of, of work that students create. All of that combines with our assessment for learning and our thinking skills uh, to really enhance the learning environment. Um, so one of the things I do with my classes um, is multiple choice on electronic voting uh, and I'll choose the multiple choice questions with classic misconceptions and mistakes. Uh, so things which I know kids often uh, make mistakes when they get wrong. By then doing electronic voting, that allows uh, the anonymity of pupils being able to, to choose an answer without feeling bad if they get it wrong. Um, if they do get it wrong, uh, I'm then able to, to look at it and analyse it uh, and, and say what the mistakes are. So what I do quite often uh, is, is produce a, a graph of all of the results um, and then we can see which pupils have gone for which answers. Um, we can then just address and discuss uh, the mistakes um, as a class. Um, and it's uh, within a safe environment that pupils feel they can do that. Uh, furthermore than that, I can, uh, I can also look at individual pupils. Uh, so if I'm conscious that a particular pupil seems to have been struggling, I can uh, again produce a graph or a, a table of results. Uh, I can spot which pupil it is that's struggling on which questions uh, and I can follow that up in uh, perhaps the next lesson uh, and talk to them. Um, I found it funner than just writing down stuff. Because it like it was like kind of fun to see. It was like more interactive than writing because it was fun to see like how well you were doing on the leaderboard. And then like it wasn't too hard, but it wasn't too easy. Initially, I used the interactive whiteboard just like I used the normal whiteboard. But as time's gone on, I've been able to. Um, use it and utilise it in lots of different ways. So it's the ability to be able to go and reflect back on perhaps a spider diagram or a piece of annotation that you've done three lessons previously and share that with the class and use that as a tool to help them and refresh their understanding of that topic. Um, in addition, for boys I find it particularly uh, positive because it's the idea of them coming up and actually annotating on the board and they get quite excited about that process and, and it involves them in the learning that takes place in the lesson. Um, I think particularly in English, you can use it as a way of annotating text and drawing out ideas together as a class, so in a collaborative way. And it also models for them the annotation process and helps them to see visually um, what, what they will need to do individually. Well, the interactive whiteboard helps us to learn because we can share our ideas as a class and display them visually. Uh, yeah, we can all put, have our say and we can put it up visually as well so everybody can see it. Um, the Language Lab um, helps personalise the learning from our students because um, in two ways, you can set up different tasks uh, for different students. So some of them could be doing a lower level listening or, um, or a reading and by setting up a different groups, uh, you can differentiate that way. But also as well, the students can choose their own task and they can work at their own pace. So if they're practising, they're speaking, they can pause the track and speak and the length of time that they speak they decide on that and then they push themselves that way so it's great for independent learning. The Moodle system we've got now really helps us by giving us a platform that we can put on there basically um, resources for students whether they be ones that want an extension task or kids that want something to support their work to really help them out. Um, examples would be uh, for students wanting some support We've put on there levelled work showing you know, what is a level 4 for Key Stage 3, what's level 5, better than that, what's level 6, and some comments about how to improve. So we found that really helps students see um, the pathway to get to the next level for them. And going up for older students, we put things like videos on there to show them particular skills, um, which means that they can then watch that rather than have to wait for the teacher to catch up with where they are. And going up to the top end at post 16, 
what we've put is examples of previous coursework with comments on it showing where students have done well or, or also where they've lost marks which again gives us something really good that students can use independently without needing a teacher to go through it with them on their own. We've come to turn these as the Minster 7 in terms of transferable skills which we want our students to develop. Uh, so things like uh, independent learning, self-managing, uh, working collaboratively, collaboratively as teams, um, being respectful to one another and also respectful to the technology in terms of e-safety as well, um, motivation and exploration through research and, and seeing learning as a continual lifelong journey. Uh, and that's where we are as a school but the new technology has really helped to enhance that environment and when we have themed days for enterprise, uh, for humanities days for example, uh, the new technology again comes into its own to support really dynamic days where students are off timetable and can make the most of the opportunities that we can present for them.